All right, I see. I'm gonna do it for you for just because I am a nice guy. All right. What is up, everybody? Welcome to today's video, and welcome to the floor. There's a very good reason that I'm down here, and uh, as you could probably guess from the title and that short little clip from Rod over at Predatory Fins, I got a new fish, and. Uh, I just needed to give you an idea of the sheer size of this fish so you know the title of monster fish is not an exaggeration so I got my handy dandy uh, tape measure here and I just want to give you a scale to let you know that the uh, fish gets big like really big let's open it up hey. So I, for one, personally feel that anytime somebody buys a new fish and makes a video, that video is simply not complete unless you see them opening the box. So let's dive into this package from Rod over at Predatory Fins, and then I will actually reveal to you this future behemoth that I got. Anybody knows what that is? Do you even know what this is? I can't see. Uh, nope. That's a Wallagoo catfish. Black Wallagoo catfish. Right now they're about four inches. I know this is a good way to lose my mind. I'm trying to help my customers, bro. I love my fans. I love my customers. This live auction was something that he did that was just a chance to give, uh, people who want unique monster fish from him a chance to buy them and not have to do the hundred dollar minimum order on top of the shipping so thank you to him I will put all the information to his channel down below uh, his website as well as the YouTube channel where you can see all of his stock so thank you to Rod, Lisa, the whole team out there but uh, the Wallago is in there you can see him right there so let's get a closer look I'm gonna warn you he's super active He's always moving, so hopefully I can catch him on camera. <laughs> That's sarcasm. So yeah, so as you can tell, cool fish, uh, not super active, <laughs> but uh, here's some pictures and footage from the day that I got him. So that way you know he does actually move and he is uh, kind of super ugly like so ugly he's cute um, but uh, we'll go ahead and shut off all the lights down here so that way he can uh, relax and you guys can still see me I'm not gonna trip over stuff apparently I have a thing for catfish <laughs> which I know it seems weird as I'm showing you a video of me buying another catfish but I realized I have this really unique kind of eclectic collection I have the wild caught channel catfish, I have the gulper catfish, the feather fin catfish, the bullhead catfish from my last video, I have the red tail catfish, the one eyed shovel nose catfish, and uh, now this Wolago. So apparently I keep catfish now, um, <laughs> which you know I certainly don't mind because they're awesome. But uh, So there it is, that is my little tiny baby black Wallago catfish. I think it needs a name and you guys are always better at naming fish than I am so let me know down in the comments what you would name this awesome fish. For inspiration, uh, here's a clip. Dogs, huge lizards, a cow, and even humans. This is a beast that means business. Jeremy Wade refers to this fish as a man-eater so maybe we go with something intense like man-eater or dream crusher or... Carl. I don't know. You guys pick. But this is what I refer to as the educational and serious part of this episode. So uh, definitely stay tuned. This is some important information. Don't click away just yet. You saw it on River Monsters. And I kind of joke about it being a man eater and, and the size. But this is a fish that is a true giant. It can reach sizes of up to 8 feet in the wild. 
Now that doesn't mean in the home aquarium that it's going to reach eight feet, but and I'm not quoting that old like buy a big fish, put it in a small tank, it's gonna stay that size. I'm not quoting that. It's just a fact that fish in the wild grow larger than they do in really any aquarium type setting. However, it's still going to get huge. This is not a fish that you can just throw in a 125 gallon aquarium and expect that it's going to be fine. This fish needs big things. And big things are what I have planned. I am going to build a massive pond for this fish. Now not only does it get huge, it is a predator fish. It uh, will eat just about anything it can fit in its mouth, so it is not something that will go well with most tank mates. Also something that I am aware of. Now I tell you all this just so you guys know, I know. I know this is a big fish and I know that it's going to take some special care and I'm fortunate enough to have enough room down in this uh, fish room basement area to handle that and that's something that I'm going to do. The reason I got this fish is because I've always wanted to buy something from Predatory Fins. I have a lot of respect for uh, what they do, what they sell, their YouTube, all that stuff. Um, another shout out to them for hooking me up with this fish the way that they did. It came across their live auction. Um, I snatched it up. I got a really good deal for it. And it's a fish that you just don't see on YouTube. I'm not saying it's not there, but I am saying I'm going to be the first person to document it from true baby size and growing it out and uh, doing care guides and all that kind of stuff. I can also say I'm the only person in the state of Nebraska that has this fish. If you have one and you live in Nebraska, let me know, but I'm guessing I'm the only one. <laughs> but at this point, I'm rambling. I hope you guys are excited about this fish. This is a chance for me to give you a fish that I guarantee a lot of you have never seen. Um, to bring you along with me as it grows, to show you, you know, the trials and the joys of having a massive fish like this. But I'm excited about it. Let me know if you're excited about it. I'll go ahead and wrap this video up though. It's important for me though to make sure I tell you guys that I'm aware of all this stuff so that way you don't think that I'm just uh, buying big fish for the sake of YouTube. I do have the fish's health uh, in mind and uh, you'll be able to uh, be here and uh, check it all out. So thanks for watching this one. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Give it a thumbs up and until the next video, I will see you soon. Bye, fish. See you later. See you soon. Bye-bye.